wait for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on. My name's Ashley and welcome to my channel. If you've been here a while, welcome to another video. For today's video, I am going to be sharing some realistic clips from a few days in my life as a Christian homemaker, stay-at-home mom. If you're new here, I just wanted to quickly introduce myself. My name is Ashley and we are a family from Canada. We are a homeschool family and on my channel, I share a lot about faith homemaking and homeschool mostly so if you are interested in that type of content i hope you will stick around and hit that subscribe button and um yeah so that is basically what you'll find on my channel on this day i just went to the grocery store and then i just got to cooking supper so i hope this video will be encouraging and just motivating in some way Lately, I've been finding myself wanting to embrace slow living a lot more in my life. And I thought since I've been sharing more content relating to this uh, kind of lifestyle shift, um, I wanted to kind of get into what that means to me. Um, because obviously everybody may have different definitions of slow living and what that means and so I thought I would just take the time to explain what um, maybe I personally have taken from this and what I am trying to instill in my life from this sort of concept. I think slow living to me is learning to accept my limitations as a person and realizing that my worth is not dictated by how much I get done in a day. Um, I do believe as Christians that we do not want to fall into idleness or laziness um, and not accomplish anything. I think the um, thought behind slow living for me is to just be fully present in what we're doing rather than worried and anxious about everything we have to do. I do believe in being self-disciplined. Um, I think that motivation is something that comes and goes, but self-discipline is a choice. And I do believe that we should be self-disciplined in our responsibilities and um, not just not do anything at all or not take it seriously. Um, obviously, we want to accomplish the things that we need to. I think um, to-do lists and um, routines and schedules, they can all be really productive. But I think the goal is that those things should be there to serve us rather than to rule us. And that is sort of where I'm trying to find the balance. Slow living to me is also choosing to abide in Christ and walking in the Holy Spirit. Um, I feel like I fail oftentimes in this area and I choose to try to do everything in my flesh and not fully be dependent on the Holy Spirit and, and just sometimes choosing not to uh, walk in the Holy Spirit. And I find when I walk in the Holy Spirit, even though I have the same responsibilities, I'm able to carry them out with a lot more peace and rest. Um, whereas when I choose to walk in the flesh, everything is difficult and burdensome and I find myself complaining and just being anxious about everything that I need to accomplish that it's almost like um, what I'm doing, it's not really bringing God glory, but it is just 
causing me a lot of stress. Last but not least, I think slow living at times does mean to take a break and realize that you don't always have to be busy cleaning, you don't always have to be busy doing something or getting all the things done. You are equally productive when you are making rest a priority because you need to fill your own cup sometimes to be able to pour out effectively to those around us. And so I would encourage you to not feel guilty about taking times to rest um, because it is definitely necessary and healthy. Um, you know, the, uh, the Bible even talks about the Sabbath and how Sabbath day is a day of rest. And so obviously God um, also values rest. If you are still watching, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and watching. I hope that it could be an encouragement in some way. Until next time, I hope you will like and subscribe if you like these sort of videos. God bless and I will see you in the next one. Now on this boat and